So we're back in close up. So yeah, this is our Mexican chimenea and uh, it's gonna get nice and hot and keep us warm while I'm barbecuing and while we may eat outside, but it's not as warm as it has been. Uh, so. I'm eating inside actually. Yeah, yeah so inside. we're eating inside tonight, yes. There we go. And it's all looking good. How do you do that? It took me two hours last week to light that thing. That's really easy, isn't it? I grew up making fire. I'm a guy. Make fire. And that's it. Okay. See, there we go. Tamp that down a little. Right. Put the grill on the front. Good. All right, thank you, boss. Good work. Yes, I will. I will now cook. Fine wine. Here in London. Here in London. And celebrating first day of summer. Yay! And what does that call for? Pink. <laughs> a lovely, lovely pink, pink. rosé. And this is the Calcareous uh, Van Gris uh, of De Mauvet, of Mauvet, 2009. It is a lovely, lovely, crisp, summery rosé. Very delicious. This is chilled, as you would expect. And uh, we are going to enjoy this. And what else? What else have we got going on right here? We're, we're doing some ahi tuna steaks to go with the wine. Yep. And the sunshine that we're being blessed with today. And the sunshine that we're being blessed with. And we also have another party going on right down here. So any background noise, that's what it is. <laughs> In case you were wondering. <laughs> In case you think the entire film crew is standing right behind there having a drink. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> So, uh, like a lot of our wines, and a lot of California wines still, uh, it's real cork, rather than screw top. Uh, it's a... Get that in there, get that open, and here we go. It's a while since we've tasted this one, isn't it? Well, you know, it has been not the season. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Lovely, delicate pink color. Ready? Ready, absolutely. So what have we got going on in the glass? First of all, beautiful color, very nice, very pink, salmon pink. It's a little darker pink than that. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's a little darker than some of our other ones. Some of our other oh, ones. I smell watermelon. It's a summer drink. Ooh. Don't you? Wow. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I had forgotten how good this is. It's been a while Absolutely. since we've tried it. Absolutely. Delicious. There's just a little, um, sorry, there's lots of watermelon in there. They're absolutely on the nose. And on the palate, you have, you have fruit. There's the, the acid, like a lot of, a lot of California wines and our wines, because we choose them all, yeah. is really nicely in balance with the fruit. Sorry, there's smoke coming into the picture. Yeah, the finish is a lot longer than I remember. Yeah, it is, which is always a good sign. I still taste it. Mm. And with rosés, you usually don't have that lingering yeah. finish on it. Yeah, yeah. That is a beautiful, Ooh. crisp, 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 crisp wine. Hmm. By the way, are we burning anything? Else? No, we're not burning anything. It fills the whole mouth. That's the amazing it does. difference. It does. You don't have so many rosés, you can just be like a mouthful of acid followed by a little bit of fruit or the other way around and then it's gone. This fills the mouth. It really fills the palate. It's well, it's not, it's not thin. Like, uh, no. I, I'm used to rosés being very thin. But you would happily drink this. Sorry, we have a train going past now. You would happily drink this uh, just on its own. Uh, you know, a, a group of friends, group of friends on a sunny evening. Um, you would not need to have food with this, although we will have iron tuna. Because we always have food with it. Yeah, always have food. Obviously. And at this point, I have to turn turn over the uh, the food that we've got going on there. We have a couple of burger pâtés, and uh, we have um, some chicken as well, which is looking really good. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. I am the barbecue king of England, by the way. Should we invite the neighbours? Invite the neighbours, no, to out with them. Yeah, we're drinking this ourselves. <laughs> okay. It's cheeky. Yeah, you are. <laughs> this is good. This is much better than I remember. Uh, it is, yeah. 
Mm. Wow. We don't have any bad wines, though. Uh, yeah, that's we true. We don't even have any middling wines, which is a great That's one. true. We, as he says, we do pick them all ourselves, so we're very picky about what comes into our range and what we show people. We like it, we love them, so it's easy to, to tell you guys how much we every, how great they are. Every six weeks, we are in California. We have a permanent base there. We have a small office in Beverly Hills. We are regularly talking to the wine suppliers and to the wineries. We know personally all of the winemakers, all of the wine, all of the wineries, and that's what makes the difference between us and that. You know, uh, that's what really makes the difference. It's that, uh, it's that personal touch and our involvement with, with everything that we offer. We know that you'll love everything we have. Yeah. Just put it in your glass and give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>